Namaste beautiful yogis and I'm here to check in and see how everyone is doing how are you doing let me know in the comments below how are you feeling what are you feeling what are you thinking um how's life where you are in the world and um how have things progressed where you are so we're gonna I wanted to just briefly speak about facing the inner shadow and darkness i've mentioned it many times in a, a little more distant past i don't think i've talked about it recently um so i don't know what i have said in the past but it's really important to work layer by layer with anchoring ourselves in in the sacred the sacredness of life the profound light that is life and that is achieved by practice there are certain things that are what will allow us to grow those are being in nature allowing ourselves to quiet down contemplation silence um, meditation uh, consciousness awareness just being aware and uh, having an outer witness witnessing your thought process and always having that all-encompassing understanding of love anchoring into uh, what is the divine um, and the sacred so I think a lot of um, the um, uh, yoga movements and a lot of um, the spirituality um, of um, from the last 20-30 years have been co-opted so when something gains a lot of power it gets co-opted and um, uh, coverted it gets um, pulled away from its essence and although bits of it are left so it appears authentic I think a lot of it gets um, um, it becomes a misinformation campaign or a, a, a diversion because uh, the whole positivity movement i did i think i did it did far more um damage than in any way uplifted people because when you contemplate the sacred there is no positivity as it is uh, on the axis of positive and negative it contains within itself this is abstraction here but positivity is just an end of a spectrum there is neutrality or sacredness so neutrality and sacredness it builds up but with neutrality that's balance when you have balance you are um, residing in the divine in love and in sacredness uh, when you are focusing on positivity a lot of you will have to shut down you have to shut off two parts of you in order to um, stick to that fake idea of uh, what is good and what is bad that duality and um a lot of times i have to deal a lot with this because as a yoga teacher i get stuck in the box of positivity and every time i am um whole uh, i get attacked for it because people misunderstand what a spiritual path is i'm on a spiritual path you are on a spiritual path we're all on a spiritual path and there is layers of understanding it but we cannot hide away and fear the shadow we all have layers that we have to peel and that comes with solidity the longer you practice the more inner resources you develop the more anchored you become in love the more you contemplate love or nature or your own nature you deep you develop a deeper understanding of yourself the more you're able to face your shadows we all have layers of shame and guilt events that we're guilty about um parts of ourselves of our character or our past or even of past lives that we are ashamed or guilty or um, have pain connected to them and in the beginning of our journey it is really difficult to face those things because we don't have the inner resources once we delve deep into love it tends to override everything and because it is a process they would still surface up through the years and parts of them might not be worked out and we always have that inner resource to go back into the sacred to anchor into the sacred to understand love and how profound everything works in the world and if we have 
interesting even repentance because i was uh, doing the i chain recently and i got thunder and it said repent and even when we have profound understanding of our mistakes um if it's profound indeed not just uh, uh, surface level if it is truly profound we are actually going to not repeat them not now not in uh, future existences and lives so i think working on consciousness is a continuous process and we should get excited to work on it i think now the situation in the world calls for also the same situation within the self every authority an authoritarian institution within the psyche has to be turned down examined that is a Saturnian process and it is a plutonian plutonian process asks you to really really be intense go into the things that are most darkest um most hidden uh that invoke most fear and face them and work through them the more we hide from them the more we ignore them uh, they become bigger over time and they uh, actually cause a ripple effect of us acting from that place so we create even more karma so when we stop and we understand everything is fine you're safe so that's the first step you have to work on self-awareness on contemplation of love even prayer um sacred words sacred prayers just so that you can invoke mantras you can invoke sacred energy connecting to uh, higher beings with higher consciousness they can have a healing effect the more we work in those ways the more we have the resources to go deeper and deeper and not get lost in the dark uh, but other but rather have enough light to clear it and so it goes for, for the dark. The dark is only very dark or scary or we can magnify it by looking or talking about it only if our light is not strong enough. So working on the inner light so it doesn't get dimmed by the dark. We're going to work with a lot of darkness, especially in this cycle of Plutonian energies and the world going through what it is going. And with Saturn, Saturn wants your steadfast dedication being present there and working on those structures they may have to fall apart or become stronger if they're solid they will stay if um, they're not built on um, um, on solidity then there might have to be some form of destruction and Pluto will bring that destruction and Uranus will bring that destruction Uranus considered a very intense planet is very positive in the sense that will destroy the old and um, Pluto Pluto is really understanding our deep psyche and now everybody is dealing with the fear of death which is ruled by that's the domain of Pluto death and fears and darkness and secrets and intensity um, so the more we gain those inner resources, the more we'll be able to go into this and not be pulled into it, but rather to gain understanding, knowledge, enlightenment from it and continue growing. It's layer by layer. And don't get yourself overwhelmed when you work on your own uh, emotions in darkness, but give yourself time. If you're very young, give yourself a lot of time. You're not supposed to learn everything about the word in... Um, in one year in one day by the time you're 20 and so forth and there is spontaneous in, uh, moments of um, enlightenment spontaneous moments of inspiration realization the oneness of all or the profound sa sacred nature of everything uh, the divine of profound realization of the divine so those are the moments that you can anchor back into when you come out of them because you we do we ebb and flow through life so that is how we work on it we work on awareness and and um self-awareness and consciousness and an outer witness and practice practice through yoga through meditation through mantra through prayer through um through quiet time through silence through being in nature I'm repeating it or summarizing it, but just there is, you know, all the sacred techniques uh, through non-violence in your mind, through your um, words. So your speech is very important. We have to practice um, inner purity 
and and it's okay when we make mistakes uh, guilt is the worst thing we can experience because it perpetuates the cycle we have to have a continuous forgiveness for ourselves and also um capacity to continue forward with purity and um we transform we change we evolve we're not stuck in the cycle of repeating it and then being guilty repeating it that is a that is a um I was going to say pointless. It is not pointless, but it is a vicious cycle which has to stop one day if we want to evolve, pass it, step out outside of it. Um, so every emotion is fine. If you have anger, if you have rage, if you have all of those guilt that I mentioned, uh, fear, they're okay as long as you're not steady in them, stuck. As long as it's not a steady state of, a, of being, day in and day out if if you're going through cycles and then there is some um, illumination after a certain negative quote-unquote emotion uh, then you're doing the work you're going through the work the whole positivity movement um, not allowing yourself to feel um, darkness and fear and uh, anger and rage um, it actually stops people from going and I think um, it was, I think it was an inside operation to really uh, contaminate spiritual teachings with, um, 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 with things that would undermine their sacredness, their nature. That was a co-opted um, operation and it was quite successful as most operations like this are. Um, I know people don't understand conspiracies because it's... Whew, way over there hey, they actually connect conspiracies to conspiracy theory they think that the conspiracy the is a theoretic thing conspiracy is a thing that exists that's why there is the word and it is in the astrological chart um because it's something as old as not humanity but as old as probably i think um, i'm watching now the atlantis um the legend of atlantis highly recommend it it's meditative peaceful six parts about the creation of everything it's so beautiful we take it as as it is as this magical journey of um, the earth uh, but that's they say that actually conspiracies were created towards the end of atlantis uh, when um, the human consciousness started developing and separation occurred and uh, power struggles and the the knowledge was pulled away from people and it became secret only available to certain people so I think the resources are still within us, I should say, not I think, the resources are still within us, but we have to dig, dig in and empower ourselves. We really need to empower ourselves. We carry pain from previous lives, from previous existence. Uh, we carry and sometimes it is debilitating. It stops us from, from because we don't release it and we don't find self-forgiveness we continue the cycle and um, the punishment the self-punishment so we mm, by contemplating love and light and the sacred um, teachings I think the sacred teachings are really powerful for me when I first started I um, I studied um, sacred teachings from Bulgaria and then the Hermetics um, there is sacred teachings within most old civilizations and they pretty much um, um, speak about the same thing but studying those things is almost like remembering on the soul level the soul remembers the soul remembers those concepts um, not as um, a mind concept but rather as a principle, a soul principle, a universal principle, something that we understand on a soul level, not on a mind level. And uh, I'm not going to make this video any longer than this. This is all I wanted to say. So dig deeper as you uh, continue growing. As you expand more, you can dig deeper. The expansion of consciousness allows you to... To face things uh, in the beginning of your journey you may have no resources within yourself to deal with your own darkness because it seems bigger than it is I promise it's only big because our consciousness becomes locked up in the chains of 
of contraction. We need expansion of consciousness, awakening, not fearing the dark, not, not calling it negative and all of those, but just really understanding the nature of existence. And that all comes with all the stuff I talked about practice. Anyways, continue practicing, let's continue doing yoga, let's continue being mindful, uh, meditating on love, honoring our emotions, if you're going through the emotions, that is absolutely human. And it is part of your growth. If you're just here, something is wrong. If you're just, if there is everything else out there and you're either enlightened, uh, but I don't think enlightened, enlightenment is a, a, a place of balance. Uh, so if uh, if you're scared to dig or to admit, practice, practice, because um, reality is multi-layered and um, um, allowing ourselves to really experience our own selves and release things that are subconscious will only allow us to grow that much more. Namaste.